So today's video is going to be my 10 things that you may have read, seen, or heard about living in St. Charles. I'm gonna be covering the top things that you need to know before making a move here. And some of these are secrets that only locals know about that make St. Charles a great place to live. If you don't know already, I'm Austin Weiss, a local real estate agent right here in the Chicagoland area. And I've helped many, many families buy, sell, and invest in real estate in St. Charles. So if that's you, you've got to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. I'd love to connect with you and help you in any way possible with your moving plans. But for now, let's hop right into number one. Kicking things off with a little bit of information about the community, St. Charles was settled in the 1830s, so it's rich in history and culture. Now it covers just over 15 square miles of what's known as the Fox River Valley. The town is a thriving art scene with galleries, theaters, and music venues showcasing local talent, especially in the downtown St. Charles area. It was a previous winner in Family Circle Magazine as the number one place to raise a family, and it's known for its charming neighborhoods, green spaces, artwork-filled streets, and locally owned eateries and shops bustling with activity. And that brings us right to number two, location and size. Now, St. Charles is a vibrant city located 40 miles west of downtown Chicago. It's part of what's known as the Tri-City area, made up of Batavia to the south, Geneva in the middle, and St. Charles to the north. It has access to the Metro train in neighboring Geneva, allowing commuters to be downtown Chicago in roughly an hour and quick access to the other surrounding suburbs. This charming small town has a population of about 33,000 residents. So if you're looking for that small town charm, this is exactly where you can find it. And the city is bisected by the Fox River, offering beautiful views and plenty of outdoor activities, such as kayaking, biking, and fishing, which we will talk about later on in this video. Moving on to number three, the high quality of life that St. Charles community has to offer. It's known for its family friendly environment, safe neighborhoods, good schools, and overall strong sense of community. Residents actively participate in local events, including festivals and community organizations with plenty of activities for people of all ages. With a median household income of roughly $102,000, being part of the Chicagoland economy, the Greater St. Charles area provides residents with ample job opportunities in various industries, including healthcare, education, manufacturing, and technology. Number four, the St. Charles real estate market. Now the area is made up of beautiful neighborhoods from historic homes to new builds and everything in between across the decades with various price points throughout town with easy access to shopping, parks, trails, and schools. The low crime rate makes St. Charles a safe place to live, whether you are looking for a riverfront home, a house with acreage, or something easier to maintain. St. Charles features a wide variety of properties across many price points, with the average sale price of a single family detached home, roughly $570,000, and townhomes and condos across town being roughly $340,000 on average. Now the townhomes and condos in the downtown St. Charles area will definitely be pricier due to the location. And there are new build condos being built currently in downtown St. Charles. So if you're looking to be downtown with quick access to the river, all the amenities, the shops, and the nightlife, you have got to give me a call because those will go quick. And overall real estate in St. Charles is very competitive. So if you are ma considering making a move right here, you have got to reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email so that we can set up a time to connect further on a video call discuss your move, put together a timeline and a plan so that you don't miss out on your favorite house. Number five, downtown St. Charles, the Fox River, Main Street and nightlife. This is personally one of my favorite downtown areas in all of Chicagoland with beautiful views of the Fox River. Uh, downtown St. Charles was named one of the region's top 10 by the Chicago Tribune for its fine dining, arts and entertainment, recreational opportunities, unique shopping, and lively nighttime personality. Downtown has a rich history with well-preserved historic buildings and architecture, and take a stroll along the Riverwalk to take in the historic architecture that gives the area its character and is home to a variety of shops, theaters, boutique stores, and restaurants offering something for everyone. There always seems to be something going on from festivals to nightlife and parades, which gives St. Charles that homey community feel. Moving on to number six, the public school district and education is a top priority in St. Charles. 
And for most families that I connect with who are looking to make a move somewhere in the Chicagoland area and a place to settle down, this is a crucial aspect for where they choose to live. And the St. Charles Community School District number 303 is the number one school district in all of Kane County. It's number 24 in all of Illinois, and it's a top 200 public school district in the United States. It's known for its athletics, top academics, great teachers, and college prep. The school district services roughly 12,000 students at a, at a 15 to one student to teacher ratio. Uh, it covers 11 elementary schools, two middle schools, and two high schools. All of the schools in the St. Charles Community District 303 have an A rating or higher on niche.com, and the high schools rank number two, St. Charles East, and number three, St. Charles North, in all of Kane County. And if you want more insight on the schools, the neighborhoods, the downtown area, the parks, recreation, and things to do, you have got to watch my St. Charles vlog right here. Moving on to number seven, community fun, festivals, parades, and entertainment. Now, if you're looking to stay active, the city provides a wide range of services that are beneficial to individuals and families alike. Between the community center, farmer's market, athletic facilities, arts, and taking part in exciting cultural events throughout the year, embrace the creative spirit that, that's deeply ingrained within the community. You can engage with neighbors to experience the friendly atmosphere at numerous community events from live music performances to street festivals and parades. The Village offers an exciting calendar of events that cater to every age and interest, keeping you entertained year-round. There's numerous parades celebrating St. Patrick's Day, Memorial Day, 4th of July fireworks, Scarecrow Fest, which I highly recommend visiting. There's homecoming holiday events, uh, Kane County Fair, and the St. Charles Jazz Weekend in late summer. Going off of community fun is number eight things to do, and there's plenty of it here in St. Charles with three live performance theaters just in the downtown area alone. There's several public boat launches along the Fox River for all types of watercraft. When I fish, I usually don't catch any fish, but <laughs> I've seen people pull catfish, bass, and walleye out of the water. Enjoy the live music at the plaza on First Street. Uh, there's amazing sculptures at Mount St. Mary's Park and take a class at the Fine Line Creative Art Center, accessible to anyone who believes that art provides an opportunity for education, motivation, and innovation. There's group activities, art lessons, including photography, ceramics, sketching, and much more. And then on the far west side of St. Charles, Primrose Farm, tractor rides for the kids, feed the animals, milk a goat, and collect some eggs from the chicken coop. There's seasonal programs, camps, and group outings. Along the same lines, number nine, the extracurriculars and activities, and there is plenty to do through the St. Charles Park District, and youth athletics are played at both indoor and outdoor facilities throughout the area at all times of the year, including the East Side Sports Complex that has athletic fields of all types, trails, fish ponds, playgrounds, and one of three dog parks in town featuring a dog-friendly equipment area uh, with a dog beach, so get your furry friend in the water. James O'Brien Community Park, it's 153 acres featuring frisbee golf, garden plots, dog park, athletic fields, and stay cool in the pool at the Otter Cove Aquatic Park. Uh, there's also the Hickory Knolls Discovery Center there, and then you can work up a sweat at the Norris Recreation Center attached to St. Charles East High School. Last but certainly not least, the beautiful parks and awesome recreation. St. Charles is known for its beautiful green spaces, providing an abundance of outdoor activities, family fun, and recreational sports with access to gorgeous parks, winding trails, lakes, and rivers, making it a great place to explore the outdoors. It has 40 green spaces and parks maintained by the St. Charles Park District, providing a variety of recreational activities, including swimming, kayaking, golf, nature trails, biking, and hiking. Chicago Magazine named St. Charles as a best place to live for green spaces, and the 40-mile Fox River Trail is the place for biking, jogging, and long strolls. Residents take pride in the string of parkland hugging the riverfront, perfect for exercising and relaxation. And if you prefer a smaller city with a tight-knit community, great neighborhoods, a healthy economy, and an abundance of things to do, this might be a great fit for yourself and your family. If you are considering making a move to St. Charles or have any questions about the community, you're always welcome to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. Like I said earlier, I would love to connect with you and help you in any way possible with your plans. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later.